Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Dirty Soup Kitchen. Today, we're going to go see my girl Bardeen over there at Harbor Freight. We're going to buy some bed liner and we're going to start to coat the tank for the, um, for the Hanson. I know there's a lot of different coatings that you can use, coal tar, the amount of options that you have is endless, but me, I just figured I want something good and solid that's going to protect the tank and seal it from all outside contaminants, salt water, whatever it may be, and I just, I was sitting here thinking about it, and I'm like, dude, what better than bed liner? I mean, they say that stuff's pretty much indestructible, so let's go over there and get this done. And then we're gonna talk about sanding and we're gonna we're gonna do the tank dude we're gonna do the wow that was so nice that guy let me go and we're just gonna do the tank today and we're gonna start the steps of putting the tank back and getting everything right to get that boat back on the water all right we just got the harbor free we're gonna ask my girl Bardeen about this see what's going on how come I don't see a parking lot full of stuff <laughs> See, look, that's, I told her earlier. <gasps> you see? We're not alive. This is video. I told you. I told you. We're going to do it on video. Why? Why? Why are you embarrassed? You know what I want. Oh, now you give it to me. See? Now she gives it to me. She knows it's every day. You know what I want. No, this, this is not alive. This is video. Look, I want that. <laughs> And I'm coming back. I'm going to grab other stuff. I want that. I told you I want that. Well, look how messy you made my paper. That's my paper now. Stop that. You mess up your knuckles. No, no. It's in good hands. This is from the bike ride. My handlebars. I need, I need new things. But I'm like, screw it. I didn't even shower before I came here. I want you to know that. Not yet. Where's the shopping cart, baby? Right here. Where? Oh, why are they over there? Weren't they over here before? Yeah, but HR wants them back over here. And here. where's the parking lot sale? Where's all the stuff that's supposed to be in the parking lot? You know they don't put that stuff in the parking <laughs> lot, which is crazy. Where's the, where's the parking lot sale? What do, you, what do you have on sale that's in the parking lot? What's on sale in the parking lot? Where's the sale? 2000 yeah, yeah, that's a 2KW, baby. All right, let's get the stuff that I need. All right? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to want to see all that. Probably going to need one of these. Wait. I have these, but I can always use more. Uh, can always use more. And a couple of these. Now, most important. We're going to use this to seal the gas tank. Hey, just so you guys know this, we'll be using this in August. Okay, what's up guys? We're back in the yard. We're gonna start with this project of coating it. I really figure if this bed liner stuff is good enough for the bed of a truck, it should have no issues whatsoever sealing up this gas tank. So the directions to this stuff just says sand gently. So we're gonna start with the sanding. I got some, I think it's 120 sandpaper and we're just going to go over it one good time give it a good roughed up good roughing up yeah all right let's get to work i'd like to take this 10 seconds and talk to you about your car's extended warranty well done sanding the can of paint says to use soapy water but we're going to use acetone and we're going to wipe it down real good Give it a good wipe down, clean everything up.
Woo. Make sure there's no oil or any anything on here. Get a little bit more on there. All right, now that we got it cleaned up to make sure there's no oils whatsoever on the tank, the can says to shake for two minutes. Now the directions for this stuff says to, to shake it, but. Roller, I should have used the nine inch roller, but then it would have been really quick. And what kind of video is that, right? Oh, it's going to definitely take a couple coats. Okay, we just got done with the first coat. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the second coat. And we're just gonna keep on painting it. We got a lot of paint. 
we're gonna put probably three or four coats on this thing to make sure it's it's good and covered and we have a really long life out of this okay guys that's two coats down we're gonna move on to the third coat I don't know I don't know how many coats we should do what do you think Let, let's do let's do we'll do four coats we'll do four coats just to make sure we have really good coverage now we gave the second coat a little bit extra time to to set so let's and listen for you guys at home don't hate on my completely average roller it wouldn't be good YouTube if I use like a nine inch. I mean, who needs nine inches, right? Okay, just to make sure you guys don't think I'm half ass or anything. Let's finish this. That's probably way too much, but it's okay. It was standing on this side the whole time. So we're gonna hit this side four times, just like we did the rest of it nice thick first coat And that's four. Probably shouldn't have done it that quick, but that's how we did it. So we'll be back tomorrow on the install. I hope anybody that was wondering how to paint their tank or how to seal their tank, I hope this helped in some weird way, man. I'm not much of a teacher, more of a just hands-on and get shit done kind of guy. But all right, see you guys later.